In this lecture, I'm going to talk about another topic in the containers. Containers three, subcontainer panels. Using panels as subcontainers, panels acts as subcontainer for grouping user interface components. It is recommended that you place the user interface components in panels, and place the panels in the frame. You can place panels in the panels. To add a component to JFrame, you actually add it to the contain pane of JFrame. To add a component to a panel, you add it directly to the panel using the add method. So basically, you can use panels to construct the structure of your frame with different levels, and each panel can hold panel or component. And actually, panel is also one kind of component. And for the JFrame, it has the content pane. So the word pane and panel usually are used as the holder for subcontainers. Creating a J panel, you can use a new J panel constructor to create a panel with a default floor layout. So if you do not specify anything, it will be in floor layout format. Or new J panel with the layout manager to create a panel with the specified layout manager. Use the add component method to add a component to the panel. For example, you can construct a J panel P and add one OK button into there. Let's look at this demo program testpanel.java. This example uses panels to organize the components. The program creates a user interface for a microwave oven, and for the microwave oven, the outlook would be. You have a box to put the food in, and then the display panel over here. There is some text field, and some buttons over there. One, two, three, up to zero, and then start and stop. And the outside is a frame. Inside here, you have one panel, another panel top level, and then a frame holding two panel and one big button over here. Let's look at the program. I have already run the program. The front view of the microwave oven will be right here. So actually, we create a frame with that microwave oven, and then we construct from the bottom up. Right here, we create first panel, panel one, P one, and then the layout style is grid, four row, three column. It's the four row, one, two, three, four, and three column. So the P one will be right here. For the digital panel right here, and then we put bottom in there. Each time we create a label one to nine, and then we add another one with the label zero and star and stop. So totally twelve bottom being added according to the grid layout, four row three column, and then we create another panel two P two. I will be including the text field. Right here, now you can input something or show something right here, and then set this text field to be north for the border layout. So this is north, this is center. So we put the P one into here as the center of the border layout, and then we add this P two as the east for the border layout for the main outlook for the oven, and then we add one big button to the center of the frame. And in fact, the frame has a content pane holding this big button and the P two panel right here. So you can check this view and the code, and check the relationship between the bottoms and the panels with the code. Thank you.